Hi guys, this is Anash Sharma and in this session we will discuss what is a DAX. DAX means Data Analysis Expression. It is a set or collection of the predefined function or independent function. You can use this function for different type of calculation and these function may return single or multiple values. Generally these functions help to boost the or enhance the performance for the reporting. In Power BI desktop application, generally these DAX is used for the calculated columns or calculated major. In DAX, you can decide or you can select the data type of the data. As you can see in the list, the whole number, decimal number, boolean, text, date, currency, date, blank. So according to the requirement of your data or your column, you can select the data type or you can convert, even though you can convert the column into a particular data type. Appropriate data types, it improves the performance. Also, reduce the size of your data model. There are more than 200 functions in the DAX and we can divide these functions into, into 9 categories. The first category is the aggregate function. In aggregate function, these functions are used to aggregate the value of a column and these functions return the scalar or single value result date and time function so for to for the manipulating the date you can use the date and time functions filter function to narrow the result you can apply the filter on the data information functions this function is used to get the information about the data type and the size of the data logical function you can use this logical function for joining the two expression and that expression returns the true or false result say and using the operator and or math and trigonometry functions. So you can use these function for the mathematical calculations. Then parent child functions. Parent child functions. These function helps to tackle the relationship parent child relationship between the data. Then relationship management functions means you can uh, manage or manipulate the relationship between the two or more tables. Table manipulation functions. These functions manipulate and return the tables, form some calculation. Then text function. Text function manipulate the strings, say uppercase, make it uppercase, lowercase, or replace string. For this purpose, you can use the text function. Time intelligent function. So these functions you can use for the compare of the two time over the period. Components of the DAX data model. Data model consists of the data, calculation and formatting rules. And all together these three, it makes it an object. So when you talk about the calculation, so calculation can come from the legit table or data or suppose you are managing some relationship between the tables. So you are doing some calculation, majors, you are creating a majors and then hierarchies. So these are the part of your calculation. And these objects helps to understand the data set properly. DAX parameter names. For the better understanding of the DAX functions, it is very important to understand about the parameter naming convention in the DAX functions. In the DAX function, you have to understand which parameter is required and which parameter is optional. So we have the list of the some parameters which have the standard naming convention. So we can check that one. Now we check parameter names and descriptions. So we have the list. First of all, we have the expression. Expression means it returns a single scalar value. And this expression can be executed single or multiple times. If it is running in the row context, then it will execute multiple times. And in case of the filter context, so it will execute only once. Value. Again, it's a DAX expression and returns a single scalar value. And that value expression has been evaluated before all the operation in the DAX function. Then table. Any DAX expression which return the data or result in the form of the table. Table name. The name of the existing table means your, your table from your data model. Then column name. Again, existing column name. Column name from your, again, data model. Then name. String constant. When you create a major or 
column then that time you give it some user defined name that is called the string constant order for sorting the data you can use the order and type to find the type of some data data type then you can use this text function description structure text function name is given always in upper letters upper case letters and the body of the text function is enclosed by the opening parenthesis and the closing parenthesis in case of the parameters parameter is enclosed by the angle bracket if the parameter is optional then that is enclosed in the square bracket all the parameters within the text function are separated by the commas if the three dots is visible then it means you can repeat the parameter so we will check all this in the practical now we check the text function syntax with this diagram so as you can see first of all select column this is the text function name in all upper cases all letters are in upper case then this is the parenthesis opening and closing means this is the body of this function within the body of this function we have the table name in angle bracket name scalar function in angle bracket means these parameter are the required or must parameter then after the comma we have the square bracket in square bracket again table name scalar expression so these parameter are the optional then we have the three dots it means you can repeat these parameters this one for the better understanding of the dex function it is important and necessary to understand what is the dex context it is the two types raw context and the filter con context the row context can be thought as a current row in current row the values and the values in the all the columns all together and the processing is called the current row that is called the row context filter context filter context it fetches the data after applying the filter it means it returns a some selected data sets where you can apply the row filter we can check the difference between the row context and the filter context with this diagram so we have a data we have a table in the table we have the name john taylor john taylor then marina and the amount paid to these guys and the country code oz and zoz now if you apply filter so we want to take the data only for the oz then we apply the filter country equal to oz and we have three rows 1 2 3 so this is the data set this filter will return now if you look into the row context so this is the our data set written by the filter context so this is the data set we will process all the rows one by one each and every row if the like processing is going on the first row so it means the row context one if the row if the processing is going on the second row the row context two and row context three so this is the difference between the row context and the filter context now we check the practically how to use the dex function so we have the data country canada germany france and the product pen pencil mouse quantity sold year of sales gross sales net sales generally when we create the new measure or new column so that time the dex function are used so first we create the new column new column and by default it is a column so already you can see the column is already created and the header of this column is a column by default so you can change string column say total sales after that we have the equal sign it means what whatever the function we use after the equal sign and the result written by that function will be assigned to this column name this variable now first of all how to check the list of the dex function you type the first letter of the function say s once you type then all the function starting with the s letter will be displayed and all the columns from the your data model so s u m in all upper cases then opening parenthesis and finally closing parenthesis but we can see the error because 
within the body of this sum function a column name is required we cannot skip this one so sum then net sales so this is the function it needs only one parameter that is the uh, any column name from your data model and it should be some new numbers so the function done if i execute this one so you can see the same value in all columns because we are using the sum aggregate function so it is aggregating all the value of these columns and displaying in all columns suppose if i choose say calculate calculate so the number of parameters supplied to the function depends on the function in calculate then opening parenthesis and the first parameter is the expression then sum within the body of the sum says say net sales then then the comma and we have the filter in square bracket it means this filter is optional also we have three dots it means we can repeat this filter so for now i do not want to apply any filter so that's why simple close the body of the calculate function with the closing parenthesis i execute this one so calculate this function now it's working on the row context it shows that a total for the each and every row that's it okay now comma i need the calculation only for the canada country it means i need a filter say comma then filter one table name then country column name with the table name it's a full qualified name equal to say canada okay execute this one now we have said that we have the calculation only for the canada country this canada and this canada this one also i want to apply one more filter further filtering the data then again comma again you can see in the syntax filter 2 it means we can repeat the filters because three dots visible so sales product equal to say pen so now we have the two filters country equal to canada and the product equal to pen if i execute this one function so you can see we have only two calculation country canada pen product canada and the pen so this is how you can use the dax function in the power bi dax to application so guys this was all about the dax introduction thanks for watching the video